Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is another weekly vlog. It is currently Tuesday, February 28th. It is lunchtime and I actually just went and picked up a Target pickup order. So I wanna share with you guys what I got. I got a lot of organizational stuff for the new apartment and I ordered some things off of Amazon that came in. So I have a little like apartment haul for you guys. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I've got. So a few things for the kitchen. I got this paper towel holder, just really cute from Target. Um, this was the same line. I got this oval plate because our stove is grated and it's really hard to put our old slotted spoon rest over there. So I'm going to put this one here and I think it's perfect for when we're cooking and we want to just like set stuff down. Isn't that perfect? And it doesn't cover up the burners or anything. Oh my gosh. I love it. So that is this and I'll probably put like a plant in a candle on there or something maybe or I guess we could keep the olive oil on here huh could even do that if I wanted to but that like cheapens it I feel like it's so cute and then I got a little sponge holder for inside of our sink and I got this little sink caddy for hand soap and dawn dish spray and then I got myself this little jewelry organizer I definitely thought it was going to be like twice the size of this so I'll have to see if my jewelry even fits in here, but this is what it looks like on the inside. So I need a jewelry organizer because I used to have it hanging in my closet and my closet doesn't have like a spot for jewelry to hang anymore. So I'm gonna try this out. Also from Target, I got this big clear bin from Bright Room. Um, I got another one that is in stock at another store. So I'll have to go pick that up at a later date. I got this under sink storage organizer from Bright Room again. Um, just really needed something to organize things under our sinks. Um, and then I got Ryan a new shower head. Mine is gonna come in from Amazon because I wanted a rainfall head, but he wanted one that had like a, um, you could take off the shower head, so removable, that's what it's called. So that's everything from Target. And then right here is my Amazon order. So this is all stuff for the shower. I got these, um, it's a two pack of corner shelves. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this one, I will pop up a picture, is a like slotted shampoo holder, pretty cool. And then this one, oh, this one is the slotted shampoo holder, sorry. This one is actually just regular old shelves, but they're all clear acrylic. I'm so excited to put these up. But yeah, just getting a lot of organizing stuff and getting that out the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and go eat lunch but I will check in with you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is currently Thursday morning, March 2nd, and I'm getting ready for work. I'm gonna do my makeup with you guys, but I just wanted to like update you on how the new apartment is going. So I'm really loving it so far. I've been like slowly unpacking different portions of the apartment throughout the week. So like yesterday, I kind of unpacked my closet a little more and like fixed up my dressers and stuff. Um, today I'm gonna set up my shower, I'm so excited. Um, I showed you guys everything that I bought for the shower and I'm just so stoked. I put up the glue yesterday for the shower inserts, um, but you have to let them sit for 24 hours. So I'm letting them sit. And today I will put up the actual inserts. And so I'm really excited about that. It's gonna look so cute. And I can't wait to film shower TikToks in there. I also get in my shower head today. So that's exciting. I get in like a big um, Amazon order today. So that's gonna be fun to show you guys. And I am gonna record my Project Use It Up um, finale for the winter and the introduction for the spring. Not gonna lie, I did not use a lot of the stuff that I put in uh, for the last update. So that's a little sad and embarrassing, but it's okay. But I did end up finishing some things, so that's really good. So I'm gonna film that today and that should be up already. And then I need to also film my February empties. So I think today I'm just gonna like be filming 
in between work breaks. Um, that's like literally what I usually do um, is I take like 15 minute work breaks. And honestly, this would have been like me at the office walking around, you know, just like uh, taking a little walk break or taking a water break or whatever. Um, so don't judge me, but I usually take like little like 15 minute breaks and I will like fold the clothes, I will do the dishes, I will um, clean up something, unpack something, like that's usually what I do. I'm so glad that I work from home so I can kind of do those things around the house and not have to worry about them anymore. So I will probably be picking out my stuff for my spring project use it up with you guys a little bit later today. I don't even know what I'm gonna be using, honestly. I know I'm gonna have like a coffee scent in there. I think I wanna use my strawberry pound cake that I just bought. I, I don't know yet if I wanna start using coconut or not. Is it too early to use coconut? Is March too early? <laughs> I feel like I should go for like a fruity or floral. I have just been really getting into like researching new um, body care, brands to go after so if you guys have a good brand that you love like let me know so far i've really only tried like philosophy and bath and body works um and hemp's so yeah if you guys have any brands that you love i definitely want to try soap and glory that's one of the things on my list that i want to try i've heard that their breakfast smoothie scrub is so good and i looked it up the other day and it sounds like a gourmand dream so i definitely want to try that um, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go on a no-buy. <laughs> so at the same time as I want to try new stuff, I'm going to go on a no-buy. That's fun. Maybe I'll do a low-buy where I have to like use up, a, you know, three products before I can buy something else. I might do that. All right, well, I don't really have any more chit-chat, so I'm going to finish my makeup and I will show you guys once we're done. Okay, here is the final makeup look. I think it turned out really well. Um, I've been loving the way that my cheeks look recently using the Rare Beauty little, I have this mini version of the liquid blush in a door. Seriously have been loving it and I blend it up like almost to my eyelids and I love how it looks. I don't know. So anyways, did my makeup. I'm going to go record a video before work and I will see you guys later. got Kai back. Yeah. And we're out on a walk in sunset. It's so pretty. Hello guys. It is now Friday night and I'm trying on a bridesmaid dress that I just bought from Lulu's and I wanted to show you guys in the mirror. I definitely need to get it altered a little bit, um, but it's really pretty. So this is for my cousin's wedding in April and we're all wearing black. She let us pick our own dresses. So I got a halter backless dress oh my gosh it's so pretty and it fits really well on my waist and like has this gorgeous slit but it's a little baggy up top so i think i'll have to go to a seamstress and she'll just have to like tuck in some more fabric up at the neck but oh my gosh it's so pretty this is what it looks like i'll have to try it on with some heels because it's definitely gonna need to be hemmed but it's really pretty silhouette and i love the halter so yep that's my little dress but anyways i'm gonna change out of this and we're gonna watch the new episode of the mandalorian so i will talk to you guys later hello guys it is currently saturday march 4th and i just got a haircut so i asked for curtain bangs this time and we went with them pretty long to start just to see if i like them but my hairstylist did a blowout on me and it looks so amazing. And I'm currently at my parents' house, so that's this background, so I have got it blurred a little bit. Um, but I just redid my mom's decorations from uh, Valentine's Day to Easter. So I wanna show you our Easter decor. And then my mom and I also did a TJ Maxx trip, so I've got a haul for you guys once I get back home. So let's check out the Easter decor. Okay, so right here we've got her kind of like coffee bar area. I love how this turned out for Easter. So I've got some towels here. These are all from the Target Dollar Spot. Ray Dunn mugs, these gorgeous little bunnies on the left, and then this little bunny canister on the right. 
Um, and then this top tier up here. I love this garland. I actually think I got it from Jane, jane.com. Um, and this little chicky, he's so cute. He came from Home Goods a few years ago, I think. And then this beautiful Happy Easter sign and our tulips up top. And then this little area next to where the coffee pot is, we've got our little Happy Easter decor going on. And then in the dining room, I just added a few touches to make it more spring-like. So a few bunnies, some carrots, and yeah. This one too, I just added some carrots. I added a little good egg mug up there and just some extra little spring items. And I love this little bunny platter, it's so cute. So that is the Easter decorations. I cannot stop playing with my hair, you guys. I'm gonna have to learn how to blow it out like this because it looks so good. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, head on home. And once I get back, I will show you the TJ Maxx haul. Okay guys, I am back at my apartment now and ready to show you the haul. So I actually went to two TJ Maxx's. I went to one by my hairdresser and then one on the way home because I was looking for more shampoo and conditioner. So I'll show you the first haul first and I got a mixture of like things I didn't need. So I got two sets of false lashes. I got some Ardell Foam Mink 817s. I love these, they're really comfortable to wear and these were $12.99. And then I got these Ardell Naked Lashes. These are $4.22 really pretty and then i found some of these i heart revolution shower shakes they had two they had a watermelon smoothie and then this vegan mint chocolate and this was 4.99 i'm just excited to try it and it was unopened so that's great but i want to give it a sniff so let's see if we can't open it oh my gosh that smells like straight up chocolate that is so good i feel like this is going to be really nice for like fall or winter because either just the hot fudge element or the mint chocolate element will be really nice during the holidays. So that is this one and this was $4.99. I did get this really beautiful necklace that was on clearance and it is 100% or 100%. It is a uh, 14 karat gold, I wanna say. So here it is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so dainty and has little hanging pearls and it's really gorgeous. And this was on sale for 80, originally 160. So half price, really, really beautiful. And then I found this um, tumbler. I've been trying to replace my Christmas tumbler that I have. And this is my favorite brand that they, ha that they sell at TJ Maxx. It was $12.99. This is the wellness brand, but I just specifically love that it has a silicone straw tip. Like it's a, it's a metal straw, but the tip is silicone and it's really comfortable. And this is a cute color. I thought this would be bright and vibrant and like, bring me cheer throughout the day. And the last thing I got at the first store is this gorgeous bandage dress. Oh my gosh. So I love this like Kelly green color, but it has this really cool little cross in the front. It's kind of hard to show, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. So this was $19.99. I hope it fits and it looks cute, but I just saw this like last minute right before checking out and I really wanted it. So I got that too. Okay, moving on to the things that I actually needed from the second store, which was more shampoo and conditioner. So I found the Joico Moisture Recovery line. This is my absolute favorite. You know, I've been talking about it for the past like two years. It is my go-to. And I've been looking for the smaller bottles because Ryan and I's shower caddies don't hold as much weight and I really don't wanna like risk it. Um, I don't wanna put those giant jumbo bottles. So I'm just gonna use the small bottles from now on. So I have the shampoo and conditioner in a set. And then I tried to get two sets, but um, they did not have the conditioner. So instead of getting the moisture recovery, I got the Hydra Splash, which is hydrating. I don't know how much difference there is between moisturizing and hydrating. So I think it'll be fine. Some more hair stuff. I found some stuff from Living Proof. So I'm excited to try it. I've never tried the brand before. This is the Intense Moisture Mask. Um, from their frizz free line and this was $16.99. I'm running out of my hair mask so I wanted to pick this up and just give it a shot. I definitely struggle with frizz um, and then this is the frizz humidity shield which is basically a hairspray that prevents frizz, um, prevents the humidity from like penetrating your hair so I'm excited to try this one. It's $16.99 and I'll let you guys know if it really does help or not. And then just a random thing, I picked up a little poopery. It's not actually 
Uber Eats called Smells Be Gone, but this was $4.99. I figured we should just have one in the guest bathroom. And some skincare stuff. I found an Innisfree sheet mask set. They had like five different types and I did pick up the honey type. They had like a berry, like I think it was acai berry. They had tea tree and a couple other ones, but I picked up this one. It's a 10 pack for $9.99. I think it's a great deal. And um, I had two in my cart. I turned the corner to like put one back and they were all gone. So they must be good because somebody bought all of them and there was like six or seven packs. So that, that was pretty funny. And then I did also pick up a Cosrx um, pimple patch set. It's just one sheet and this is $3.99. There's Kai in the background, you guys. He's back. <laughs> He's back in the background of the videos. And then I also picked up a set of loofahs. This was just $4.99, but Ryan and I have agreed that we wanna change these out a little more often than we did last time um, in the last house. We were kind of slacking. So I think monthly we will be changing those out. And the last thing I got I'm excited about because I've been really wanting some heels like this. So I got these from Steven, New York, and these were $40. But I really like this kind of design, especially for spring and summer, and they're nude and they're pretty tall. I don't actually own any like taller nude heels and I need some for an event that I have coming up. So I picked these up. So I hope that they're not too painful. I feel like they might be because there's such little like holding your foot together, but they look cute. So I'm hoping that I can kind of just bear with the pain, but yeah, that is the last thing that I picked up from TJ Maxx. Um, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because tomorrow I literally don't plan on doing much. Um, I think tonight I'm going to try to paint my nails and edit some videos. Um, and tomorrow I'll just be prepping um, and prepping for the week and uh, maybe recording a few more videos. So yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog. Oh my gosh, look how cute Kai is over there sleeping on the couch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog and wish you guys a great week ahead. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.